Konnichiwa everybody here from Japan. I am so excited because today we are going on a bullet train to our next city in Japan, which is Osaka. I'm really excited. I don't know if it, it isn't my first time going on a bullet train, but this one is going very fast. It goes 200 miles per hour. That's like so fast. We are definitely going to be giving you a tour of our seat and the view of where we're staying. First, we gotta book an. We gotta get an Uber ride to the place, and then Ruby, and then let's go. We gotta go there, and yeah, let's go. Station. Let's see if this is as easy as in South Korea. So we bought these tickets on one to go and you just have to come here, scan the QR code, and then they give you tickets. You have to go to one of the green machines or you can go to the ticket counter that's green. They help you out. It's so busy that the ticket machines have a whole line. And you don't you you just have to go in the green line and and it splits in the middle. One for the people and ones for the um, low counter. Nice. There's so many machines, Tim, and it's still so busy. All right, that took a lot longer than we thought because there's only one machine that prints out the e-tickets and we were in the wrong one the whole time. So now we got 20 minutes to get to our gate or to, to the train. Okay, so we didn't get the tickets. We got the reservation printed out and then we exchanged the reservation for the actual tickets. So Tim had to go all the way back and is trying to figure out getting the actual tickets. But man, it's like a two-step process if you order it online. But he is getting help printing the actual ticket out. We have about 15 minutes till we gotta go, so the pressure is on. Everything's gonna work out. Yes, I do think everything's gonna work out. But can't miss the time. We're gonna probably have to wait until tomorrow. Mm -hmm, that was super cranky. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully everything will stop. Yeah. No, Ruby. There we go. Kinkansen no Kinkansen. Get it. World. Gosh, such a learning curve. You have to put two tickets in to be able to get through. Also, that line was so long that we ended up missing the one that we had originally reserved for. But they go like every 25 minutes, so they just put us on the next one, which was nice, free of charge. So we just went to a little store and we got some stuff for the ride. So yeah. We finally made it to the train. It was a disaster. Gosh, I cannot believe that fiasco we just had. I think we were too used to Korea just being like very familiar to us that we just came 30 minutes <laughs> thinking that was enough time. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is you can't buy your tickets online apparently. You can only buy a thing that you go to a machine and then you reserve your ticket and then you get that ticket and then you go to another machine where you reserve your ticket and then you have to go to the line to the front desk. Okay, right, this is it. It's okay. We're on here. It was ripped out. They were helpful. They helped us out. Yeah. They gave us this the next train without charging it. But this is our, our seats. They're super comfy. We got yeah. rows of three. Plus there's three. Yeah. 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 They have a map of this whole entire train. Oh, you're right, huh? Yeah. So, because this train is a very big... <gasps> they have the medical pillars here. Ooh, they do. Yeah. They have stuff for everyone. Yeah, they... Yeah, bathrooms, all this stuff. Oh, that baby's not happy. It's probably because it's hot in here. It is pretty warm in here, man. But also, we have a bunch of legs, leg room. Look at, we put our backpacks down here, but there's so much space. And we could move our backpacks to the overhead compartment. We just, we don't need to. We have an outlet over there. And then we've got these big tray tables. They come out really far and a little pin that you can put your stuff in. You air it out? <laughs> so hot. <laughs> you flick the nitrous on. We're moving. We're in Fast and the Furious. Fukuwako drift. <laughs> Feels like we're 
ramping up on an airplane like we're about to go fly out. Wow, we did not feel this in Korea. Like we didn't feel like we were going so fast. We feel like it now. So we picked up a couple of food items for this train ride at the family mart right before we got onto the train because we had a couple of minutes in between. Um, and this train ride is only two and a half hours, which is crazy because if you were to drive it, it would be like, what, eight, eight, hours? eight hours? So crazy. I got some tuna this imitation crepes sushi, which by the way, the sushi here, the seafood has been amazing. So, so fresh and good. So they have these things at the, a lot of the stores and they're delicious, so you should get them. But it's a, a Yamazaki. I don't know if you can read Japanese, but I can. It says Yamazaki. This one is that egg. It's like an egg sandwich. There's two, and it's filled with like egg salad. And then mine is another Yamazaki, and it's filled <laughs> with peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter. It, I had it before, and it was so good. So I know I'm gonna love it already. And then we got a monster. Monster. So what's this? This is an apple and custard uh, thing. I don't know. And then I saw I bakery. And then I got water with Snoopy Doopy. Snoopy Doopy. Yeah. And I just got a latte right here. Yeah. Latte. Yeah. Oh, it's been dark. Send help. We're in a tunnel. Send help. Japan is like the world leader in bullet trains and they make sure that they are. So they released the world's first bullet train to coincide with the Olympics that were happening in Tokyo in 1964, which is really cool. In 2015, they broke the record for the fastest bullet train at 375 miles per hour, which is 603 kilometers per hour. The bullet train is also one of the safest ways to travel in the entire world. There's a very small error rate, so they're extremely punctual, as is most things are here in Japan. The average delay time is 12 seconds, <laughs> which is insane. So, if, so yeah, you have to go. They also call these bullet trains Shinkansens. Shinkansens? I think that's how you say it. What do you think would be Shinkansen or Shinkansan? Shinkansen. <laughs> what do you think, Tim? It's a bullet train. <laughs> All right, Ruby, what are some fun facts that you know about this train? So Japan is an area that gets a lot of earthquakes. So this train is an earthquake safe train that you can go in. So if any earthquakes come, then you'll be safe in the train because they're both safety parameters. <laughs> parameters. So trains are bullet trains. Welcome to Osaka! Look how fast it goes! 
All right, now we've got to try to figure out the subway system. We haven't had to in Fukuoka use the subway system because we can walk everywhere, but it's not the case here. It's a little bit of a bigger city. So before we head to the subway, we are picking up some food so we can have food when we get to our Airbnb. A lot of the stuff is actually really cheap. So they have like ready-made meals with like fish, rice, veggies, and a bunch of things. They're only 680. Which is like four US dollars for a whole meal. That's so affordable. Translating everything <laughs> to see if it's halal friendly. Most things have been. We've noticed that it's a lot more halal friendly here um, and there's less cross contamination. So if you have a sweet tooth, they often do have a little sweet section right there. All right, so we're buying our subway cards. It's Hold called the, the ICOCA. And you need yen to do it. So we got cash from the ATM at the 7-Eleven here. It was a little tricky to figure this out. All right, let me here? see the cards. Got the ICOCA cards. <laughs> it worked. Here it comes, Ruby. There we go. Finally, okay. Our first metro ride in Japan. All right, we've made it to our Airbnb. It's all the way up there on the eighth floor, so hopefully we've got elevators, because with our suitcases, it's gonna be a rough one. Ah, nice. Okay. Elevator, nice. I thought we were going up eight flights with these. <laughs> I would have slept here. Well, on the top. Literally on the top. There's only eight floors. Nice. By the way, this is literally right outside of the Shin metro Man. station. Yeah, so oh, that's awesome. hopefully it's a nice one. Oh. I'm not kidding. Here. Tim, Tim! What's so wrong with you? You're supposed to not let it do that ever. I think. You see the size of me? That thing ain't squishing stop, me. Stop, stop. I'm scared. It's too many huh. people in here. What's the weight limit? 460. Oh, yeah, we gotta get out. Nice. Yeah, that's true. First things first, let's turn the All right, y'all, so we done made it to our room here in Osaka. We are here, okay? So as soon as you walk in the door, if I let you in the door, over here we got this tiny little kitchen area. We got a fridge, we got one stove burner, sink, boom, bam, essentials. Got all the essentials. This is in case there's a volcano eruption, probably. It says, please be mindful of your volume level when oh. staying at the apartment. We gotta be quiet. Yeah. So here's a little, here's our bathroom area. It is what it is. Oh, that's a deep bathtub, Tim. Shower, toilet. Nice. Oh, I can actually fit in here. But then you come in here, this is the room. We got a little table, four, four chairs, tiny mirror, because apparently you don't need to see all of your body. We need two of those mirrors put together. Over here we got a Ruby's bed slash couch. Looks comfy. Here's a bed. <laughs> got a little TV. Yeah. Stop, oh, it's oh, actually wow. a nice view. Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> the view! Oh, oh here's the train station. Oh There's a step right there. I was tied. There was a step right there and I felt like I was falling off. Stop! This is so cute! Look yeah. at the city view, Ruby! It's beautiful! Oh, Isn't so it? Cool. This is the way they dry their clothes. Yes. Outside, just on their balcony, they let the wind take the wetness from their clothes <laughs> and take it somewhere else. Take it somewhere else, yeah. Take it into the clouds. Yes, you're right. Evaporation. Yeah. <laughs> I learned all about evaporation. Yes, you did. It goes over and over and over yeah. all the time. But look at that view. So we're on the top floor of the building. That's so cool. We are. We're on the highest. This is so special. Okay, so this this is very, very budget core place. Like, I was really nervous mm -hmm. when booking. It was the cheapest yeah. one we found in Osaka. And it's only like $600 a month here. It didn't have great reviews either. And it, the, yeah, the reviews were kind of like either really good or terrible terrible so if we were very skeptical and not sure what we were gonna get yeah but, but it was cheap so it was very cheap kids. so yeah we expected to be out exploring most of the time so we're like we'll just use it as like a place to stay right, yeah. <laughs> nice yeah and i'm yeah. surprised it's yeah, a no. place and nice. yeah we can see like a little market over there yeah, there's, we can see two lawsons from our balcony you know we're there's, right in front of the train station like yeah, some people might pay. know we can just jump from here so, no, it's yeah. right there. That is so funny. That's yeah. so cool. We can he just hear the trains going by. Yeah, hopefully they stop this one. Wow, look at that view. I just can't believe it. We're in Osaka to the no, yeah. Also, there's another one right down there of that store. There's Ooh, one right there and then there's one right sun's there. sun's getting bright. Yeah, yeah, the sun sucks. So 
sorry if it's wrong. So, so we made it to the chicken counters. The machine wasn't working, so we had to go to the chicken counters. And here we are, just getting our thing finished. Now we're just getting them checked and making sure we we have everything we need. It's very busy today, as you can see, probably right there. That's not even the whole line. There's still a lot of people to the line, but this one's the train. I don't even have a thought for that. But yeah, let's go in the bullet train. I'm so excited. 